It's nearly six months now since the onset of the COVID-19 crisis here in the UK, and I'm very conscious of just how big an impact that has had on climate campaigning. It's been extremely difficult to maintain any kind of momentum during that time. It's not as if the climate has stopped changing. It's just a few weeks, after all, since large swathes of the Arctic were on fire. Astonishing temperatures, up to 38 degrees centigrade, were reached at one point, temperature more closely associated with Dubai than the Arctic Circle. But it's just been really tough to keep things moving forward in that way. So for me, it's good that we're thinking now of how to rebuild that momentum with Extinction Rebellion starting a new campaign on September the 1st. I celebrated my 70th birthday just a few weeks ago, 45 years on as it happens from when I first got involved in all of this work, in particularly with climate change, um, as Director of Friends of the Earth launching our first ever climate campaign in uh, 1986. Since then there have been some good things, of course, Paris Agreement and so on, but it's been slow going, which is why 2019 was such an incredibly important year. By the end of 2019, it's important to remember, because of the school strikes movement, that more than 7 million young people were out on the streets of different cities all around the world. So I decided to celebrate my 70th birthday by sending a, a copy of my uh, new book, of Hope in Hell, to 70 young climate activists here in the UK, just to thank them really for all their incredible inspirational work. So much depends on this. I'm very keen to continue to support those campaigning efforts and to help build what I call a movement for intergenerational justice, where one generation recognises its, its obligations to all those generations that follow, which is why I wrote this dedication in Hope and Hell um, as follows. Uh, for all those ready to embrace more radical responses to today's climate emergency, for young people today already stepping up with the kind of conviction courage and compassion on which our future now depends, and for all the rest of us who now know where our duty lies.